All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? All right, this is one I've been wanting to try. Uh, I would probably say for the last month or so, a little over a month, I've been watching these go and go and go. No ripe ones until this one, and this one's pretty ripe. It's start. I could start feel. It's getting a little. It's. it's I don't know what they look like when they're totally ripe. Like you can see all different kinds of color patterns on this thing. Here's some of the ones that are on this vine up here. They're kind of some of them are starting to come to ripeness. Unfortunately, this plants or these plants did not take the heat well. Very interesting plant. Um, but uh, I'm just going to do a couple quick snapshots. Let me do it like this. Do another one and then I'll just get on with the interview. Come on. It's a gorgeous tomato, guys. I mean, this thing's got a. It's, it's got green, it's got a little brown, it's got orange in it, it's got speckles, it's got stripes, it's got um, like a digital pattern, it's got, some, it's got a blue to black top, this isn't like your normal like purple, purple Cherokee or black cream type of green type, this is a black uh, kind of tomato here, this isn't just like a regular, it's a, it's a bizarre mix, now, I forgot the guy's name, something Wagner. He's the uh, creator of this magnificent tomato. Um, I have to give the guy credit. I don't know how he got this to get this mix. It's not just crossed with like one other tomato. It's like two or three crosses and this is what you end up with. Um, beautiful, beautiful uh, tomato. I'm absolutely impressed with it. So anyway, let's, uh, let's cut her open. Let me put you down. Let's get her back here. Let's give her a slice this way so you can. Oh, look at the juice come out of there. Uh, okay, so that's what it looks like on the inside. <clears throat> you can see the typical uh, greening, those bright green fluorescent seed packs. That's very typical in those black tomatoes. That's a nice uh, characteristic. I like that in tomato, the black variety of tomato. You can see there's a little bit of uh, like green areas in here. You'll get that in black tomatoes as well. Um, it's got the three chambers for the seeds. It's basically like a, a tri-seed thing, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'm just going to squeeze out some of the seeds. I definitely want to keep some of the seeds. I like saving seeds. All right, now, I left some of them in there, but I'm gonna take a taste on this one. I'm dying, guys. Let's let's give her a whirl. Hmm. It's not bad. It's tang-wise, uh, from like a one to ten scale, tang-wise, you know, tanginess. Ten would be like you eat it and your mouth just starts pouring out of water like eating a lemon that would be like tang 10 you know but uh, tang wise I'm gonna say this is like a four on the tang sweetness very low on the sweetness maybe maybe like a two on the sweetness scale let me take let me take another bite out of this very low on the sweetness uh, sweetness is probably like it too, like I said. Maybe if it ripened a little more, it get, might get a little sweeter. But it's low on a sweet scale. Watery, it's very watery. It's a very watery tomato. It is not dry whatsoever. Very watery. I like that in a tomato. That's easy for me to squeeze juice out of. Um, and I like to drink the juice. Uh, but it, it would probably be a little watery for a sauce. So you're going to want to mix this with a drier paste tomato when you're making sauces. So if you're going to make just like this kind of sauce out of this thing, I would probably say you're going to need to add some tomato paste or tomato paste or paste tomatoes to your sauce to get that consistency. Because I don't know how many guys or ladies out here, 
make their own sauce but if you know making your own sauce you try to boil it down that can take a long time and even after it's been cooking down for a long time the lower to, to bring that to its consistency um, eight out of ten times you're gonna find that you burn a sauce on the bottom of the pot and that's the end of the sauce it's not the end of it but it's not something I'm gonna use to serve you know my dishes I make a lot of Italian dishes so I'm not gonna serve uh, sauce that has any burnt flavor in it uh, if it's burnt then it either goes into like the back of the bin so to speak and I use that like you know on my own stuff and or it ends up you used to end up going to the chickens I just take a big bowl and dump all the burnt sauce into it and the chickens just devour that in like a day or two it'd be that would be empty I don't have chickens anymore so now I'd have to get dumped out but this is a watery tomato. I don't recommend it solely for a sauce, but it, it has nice taste to it. What I do with these watery type tomatoes is I slice them, and then I, I make different types of pizzas with these type of tomatoes. And um, I, I have to show you how I make my pizzas. And maybe I'll, I'm gonna start another channel and then you know make my cooking recipes for my garden and I'll put those things on another channel and link you to it but it's I can't put it on this channel it's just too busy um, let's take another bite let's get the rest of these seeds out of here yeah I'm using my fingers guys this is what you do when you become a this is what happens to you when you become a gardener a dedicated gardener this kind of stuff doesn't bother you no more my hands are clean well kind of I was moving around in the garden a little bit but I don't know I don't it doesn't get me sick so and I'm not cooking for you guys right now so if I was physically cooking for you I'd be washing my hands and rubbing alcohol but let's give her a bite okay nothing changed same same description um, what I will say though is most of that citrusy taste just so you guys know on most tomatoes when you eat most of your tomatoes the citrusy tangy flavor that you're getting most of that is going to be from the seeds and what's around the seeds so if you don't like your tangy uh, that tanginess tomatoes you like very bland or you like very neutral flavored tomatoes with sweetness to it just remove the seeds you'll remove 70 80 percent of that tangy flavor all right, so and you can rinse rinse it off. If you really don't like the tang. For me, it's got to have tang in. And there's a certain uh, I have a certain uh, zone between tangy and sweet that I, is a target zone for me. And when I hit that, it's like bliss. Um, but yeah, let me finish this tomato and uh, I'll end this video. Mmm, I like it, guys. Mm. no funky aftertaste at all like a lot of tomatoes you eat and sometimes you get you get like oh, I don't know if I like that aftertaste on it no funky aftertaste a great slicing tomato a great tomato for salads a great tomato for making pizzas uh, and other Italian dishes if you want to make sauces with them um, just a great taste to a tomato altogether it's really a work of art guys I highly recommend this one. I will do a couple more taste tests later on in the year, see if there any changes in the tomato. But as of right now, uh, this review is pretty much uh, going to be solid for this. I'm not going to cut this one open. It's still going to ripen a little. And then I'm going to add that to a salad later. But uh, yeah, that's the uh, Cosmic Eclipse. Give it a try, guys.